All right, so you guys doing? <laughs> Welcome to part two of uh, this stream where I build a, a cargo vehicle. It's good to be back building this again. Um, last time we basically set up the driving and the engine for the generator. And that's all working and today I think I'm going to focus on the uh, boom and getting it lifting things. Should be fun. And uh, hopefully it will go to plan. I'm going to start by um, getting in something control wise for the whole um, rotation here which is a velocity pivot so it's got to have some funky um, logic going on but that's fine um, yeah I think I'm going to start by um, coming in here and doing a microcontroller and we'll call this um, Cargo rotation, but this is just going to be a general, um, like, conversion from regular seat stuff to, um, velocity pivot, um, seat stuff, so, uh, we'll do a seat input of, what, arrow keys, I guess, the arrows, and then we obviously want to output. Whoops. That's all we really need. That needs to be a number. And I think the easiest way is just going to be using a couple thresholds and some rudimentary switch boxes so I could do like a, a counter or something but uh, I don't need it to be that kind of smooth Oops. so we'll do one and a minus one actually a minus 0.5 I don't want it to be too fast because I want it to be kind of like um controllable so um there actually on so if it's off then it's um not transmitting anything so it's not going to move we'll add these together so they get combined into one but when our seat arrows are say above 0 0.01 then we're going to t tell it to rotate clockwise um, or whatever the positive way is on the pivot I'm not sure but when we go minus 0 0.01 and to minus 1 
simply do the opposite and uh, that works so I'll actually just label this seat um, velocity visit convert so oops which one is it this one nice and small as well which is good because there's no logic space in this stuck stick it right there and so see arrows a uh, left right I mean and that will come down to here which has power yes I'll give it a slightly higher ratio there and, uh, let's see let's see if we can do this Ooh. Okay, it's very sensitive <laughs> and very fast. So that's got to go down or up, I mean. And we'll do some uh, calibration on this. So I'll do this as a, like 0.1 instead. And zero yes I feel like this seat needs to be more sensitive so left right will give it more about 40 percent that hopefully should make it be a bit more precise yeah it's a bit slow now need to uh, kind of calibrate it so speed that one up and I also need to reverse my controls here because it was doing it was doing the opposite so <laughs> swap those over update there we go and that should be really easy yep it's turning, could be a bit faster. And we obviously have the up down. And uh, yeah. I'm liking that. Okay. Next step. I'm going to start on the big task of doing the boom. Now, last time I added this winch, which is just stupid. Because how am I gonna make it rotate where I want? <laughs> so um, we're gonna try and sort out something here that can pivot. Because having just one pivot up here is not really gonna be that useful. So I'm thinking of doing another kind of wrist joint here. Uh, with a hinge, robotic hinge. Hopefully that's going to be strong enough to lift. What I'll do is rotate that. Um, in, in the case that it isn't, I'll do... I'll add a piston there as well. We'll get that a uh, darker colour. Now, um, with that, I'm going to get another velocity pivot, and I'm going to stick that on there as well, and kind of beef it up a little bit. And what this is going to do is going to allow us to uh, rotate the uh, container, um, and also fit the container size in here in the uh, the workspace um, which is a requirement so that's gonna be pretty cool so I'll also just beef this out a little bit get my mirror mode on here we'll start constructing the uh, the grappler on this so, to my knowledge, 
containers are 11 by 30 I think if not then I'll just have to update it and change it but uh, that's what I think I also think this should be moved out to about there just because I don't want this arm getting caught on the the connections so we'll leave that any comments that's cool thanks this is uh I'm actually liking this build a lot and uh hopefully I can finish it <laughs> and uh we got four people it's pretty good this is a uh, week weekday stream, so I'm not expecting a lot of people, but someone asked me to do it. 11 by 11 by 24, I don't know, 24 was the length when containers were 9 by 9, but I don't know if the length was changed. Maybe, uh, I guess we'll see. 11 by 24, that's going to be better for me though, it's going to be smaller. Um, but yeah, I'll try 24 first. And then, uh, if it's too small, then obviously you got up to 30 and so on. But uh, yeah, I think so that. And uh, yeah, so we want 12 in this direction. 12. And then, what, 11 in this direction? Whoops. And that makes 23. Need 12 in that direction as well. There we go. And you can see how this is going to work a little bit. And then we need 5 in this direction. And another 5. I expected this to be a lot bigger. But it's actually not that big. Okay. And what I'll do quickly is give some electric to that and put that on a random thing uh, I'll actually put that there just for now and then come here As you can see, it's straight there, so I can roll it out. Oh, whoops. What am I doing? Roll it out. There we go. And then you can lift this up. Rotate this. And yeah, pick up a crate. I think 24 is the, the size. But uh, let's go over here and roughly check it's kind of hard to position this there we go come in here oh it's not 24 might be yeah I'm gonna go on my original and say uh, 30 but yeah that's fine that's fine we can simple fix Just come in here and we'll go two on this side or oh, three actually Three on that side, two here, hopefully that's 30, 28, there we go, holy moly that looks good, thanks man, how you doing? So it did change, yeah it must have. 
So I always remember um, it being 30 when I initially measured it, but I don't know. Doing good, you? Yeah, I'm doing great. Coming on stream, having a little relaxed evening, at least where I am this evening. And uh, yeah. So let's see, I'm going to try and pick up a crate really janky and rushed. This thing's are like a beast with that on it, doesn't it? Close the door. Bit more professional of a roll up there. So we'll turn on the spot. Might make this more smooth to um, turn. Good, get up there. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty rough. Is that connecting? Dang it. It's really hard right now. I don't think. Do you have to put a push a button on the the crate? Top connectors enabled. There we go. On this side as well. Okay, I didn't know you had to do that. <laughs> Pretty sure that's new. There we go. Boom. Whoa. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. That's definitely um Oh, I see. Okay, so the reason it flipped is cuz it's one too long. It's 29. Come on. <laughs> Do you know how plane throttle works? Tried making one, wouldn't go faster than five miles an hour. Uh, you got to be a little bit more specific <laughs> with plane throttle. I don't exactly know what you mean there. But my initial thought would be multiply your throttle value. Oh, I found some info. Apparently, the 24 length is what some of the community uses because it, it's actually the real life size. Oh, really? <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty interesting, actually. So I might um, make this adjustable. That'd be cool. If I had like pistons on here, I could shift it and make it um, like uh, adjustable scale length. Which would be pretty cool. Oh, pardon me. Alright, let's try it again. I don't want it to flip over this time. Oh yeah, that crate's flipped over, I can't use that one. I guess I'll try and pick up one of the fuel ones. First I got to uh, turn it on, which is something I never remember having to do, but there it is. It's pretty cool, I guess, in, in case you like, accidentally connect it. Still controls. Okay. <laughs> that hasn't worked. And uh, that's a problem. 
it's like lift <laughs> it's lifting itself yeah work it do do those <laughs> Okay, we need to make this heavier. Weight blocks. It's your time. This may be riddled with grey holes or grey dots now, but at least it'll be heavy enough to pick up a crate. Gonna have to curse this creation to the the grey dots of purgatory. But uh, for once, I'm going I'm going function over form. I think I could always cover this up in some obscure way. There we go. I might make that the same color as the dots, but we'll see. No, right. Next up, I'm sorting out the controls for this because it's very janky. I want to come in here, give this a whoops, 0.05. I'll make this more sensitive. So we'll go. I wonder what you call the the upper section on diggers. I don't know if there's a technical name for it, but basically I did your tutorial for the start plane, cool. And it wouldn't really like move. Oh. Yeah, on on that um video. I did the propeller as a um, push prop, so um, if you followed it um, exactly, then the propeller would be going the wrong direction, so you would need to reverse the um, collective on it so it was pushing, or um, go in the select tool and manually like... Um, change the collective to be default as the other way around but uh, I probably should have done a regular plane for that video <laughs> but yeah all right so we'll do upper section for now and then we got forward oops can't spell Steering, and we have we'll do this as a sticky. Got boom. As this, these two pivots here, and this needs to be reversed, but not out in the open. So I'll put this in wherever I can fit it. There. As good a place as any. Up, down, okay. And we'll make them a bit more powerful. but increase their speed to like 2.6 so what you should have is these are yeah whoa nice and strong I'll actually turn the speed down a bit lower a bit lower sorry 
voice just went. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. That's a good speed. Happy with that. This needs to be more sensitive though. Or less sensitive. Don't really know how this works. I don't really build cranes often. Yeah, that's better. So it kind of stops when I take the key off instead of freaking out and just going further. Okay, happy with that. And now. I need to set up controls for um, the rotation and of these. Which, because I've run out of seat inputs, so I'm going to do it on one of these microcontrollers or uh, instrument panels. My bad. So we'll get some arrow buttons here. Up and down. And then up here, I'll have left and right. There'll be pushes, that's fine. So we'll have one, two, three, four is the channels. This will be, um, Wrist down like that, and then what we got? Got wrist rotation left. And right, put those in brackets so they're important. Do the same thing here, that needs to be up. Those containers are 29 long, yeah, I found out. Found out the hard way. But it's alright. So we'll get arm controls. A really vague name. <laughs> but I don't want to waste any time doing that. So. Got two outputs. And one input. I really can't spell today. Rotate, yes. All right. Now these are pretty simple as well. Nothing crazy. Get four of those, put them as the channels I said. Alright, wrist rotate is up first. It's channel one. And we'll do exactly the same. Um, actually, no, I need an update on counter for this one. So it's not a velocity pivot. So. Channel one is up, down, go 0 0.01, clamp between minus one and one. That way it's not going to overshoot and freak out. I might actually clamp that 
point seven five. Um, just so you don't like overturn it and hit something. <laughs> but yep, there that. Cool. So that's literally just gonna increase it at zero point one. Um, providing you're holding down either button for the up down, and it can only go between this. Um for the rotation oh wait whoops that's my bad that needs to be for the pivot so you know what I just did with all this <laughs> this is actually the uh, switch box time which if you were here a minute ago we, we did this Simply add, get some numerical switch boxes there. Hello again, hello Charlotte. I recognize that name. And so we'll get, what are we doing? Minus. So on on like that and that should be good so when you're pressing the left it'll give it a positive and when you're pressing the right it'll give it a negative and when you're not pressing anything it's nothing so that's pretty cool we're gonna go um, do that again Uh, whoops. What did I name it again? <laughs> Arm controls. Really vague name. Arm controls, there we go. And what I'll do is I'll stick it under here. There's no room for logic. Alright. So, arm controls. This is going to be linked, so um, actually needs to be other way. So this composite goes into here, gets travelled through, and it goes the other way and comes through. Cool. We've got wrist pivot there. Wrist rotate. Oops, wrong way. Wrist pivot there. So that's going to be the pivot for there. And then, yes. They might need reversing, in which case I'll reverse it. But so we've got this rotation. These have no power. Do these have power? Yes. Perfect, and we've got boom up, boom down. That's actually working real nice. <laughs> it's a bit freaky. Okay, I'm gonna respawn this for ease. So it should, should be able to pick something up. I'm hoping. If the weight worked, then. I'm going to be so happy, but if it didn't, I'm going to be very sad. Because I've got a massive heavy modular engine with a generator, two fuel tanks, and all of those weight blocks <laughs> down there. If it doesn't lift the container, then, then the devs need to change containers because they're too heavy. I always thought they were too heavy to start with, but now I'm like, they are too heavy. So we rotate this, get it about 90 degrees as perfect as we can. And then we want to go up with the boom. That looks really cool from the, the, uh, the cockpit, I guess. Go up like that. 
and just come in here and oh. <laughs> no <laughs> alright let's try it anyway oh come on it, it wants to go what if what if I actually connected it properly instead of doing this so we'll do that that I will make a way to re-release these connectors soon. Don't do it again. There we go. And oh, it really wants to. It's like I can feel it. It may need a longer track base. Which is fine. So I'll just come in here. I'm gonna have to beef this up. It's gonna look really weird. But it's fine. Get some more weight. Didn't have mirror mode on. So there's it kind of extended now. I don't know how good that's going to look. I need to give these more sensitivity because I was like going forward too much and backwards too much. How's everyone doing? We've got seven people in. I'm loving it. Just trying to get this to work. Okay, that uh, increasing the sensitivity on that was a lot better. The tracks are a lot longer, so it's got a bigger turning circle now. In the meantime, I'm really liking these controls now. Okay. Attempt number three or something. Let's get this up. Like that. I think the motors are having trouble moving all this weight. Perfect. And... Oh! It's coming off the ground slightly. Oh, it just needs more weight at the back. Oh. I feel like, okay, there's a, they're maxed out. What are these? Let's get these synced up. And okay, so we need we need to wait at the back somehow. Huh. I could just like fill this in, but that's just gonna look bad. What I'll do is anything that's not a microcontroller. Oh, I'd wait to the bottom here. And it's going to look really derpy. <laughs> Alright, if this doesn't lift it, then... Ooh. Crates are really heavy. <laughs> uh, 
All right. Attempt number four or something. Losing count already. Okay. Get the boom up. Get the wrist down. Whoops. There we are. Like that. Get this down now. What's up, at Kaden? <laughs> All right, get this on. Boom. A moment of truth. Will it lift? Oh my! God. No. Oh come on! How heavy are these crates? So these are, these are, I don't know what they're doing. Oh, I think these need to be reversed. Doing fine, how about you? I'm doing great. It's real cool of you to show up here. I uh, really appreciate that. Gonna invert those so they're not freaking out. Just ending my stream where I was putting little green men in space. Yes, I did see a little bit of that. I didn't stay for too long. So I don't really know much about Kerbal Space Program. But, uh, yeah. Let me let me know when you're uh, streaming next and I'll, I'll give you a link. Alright. So that's going to be stronger now, but I don't know if it's going to be heavier at the rear so oh, I don't know what to do let's put more weight back here that looks alright I beg that this works because I don't want to sacrifice the looks any more than I have to. <laughs> but now, now those should be. Yeah, they're they're pushing now. Because they were on the on the WS key, which is not ideal. I'll just put your stream in my Prono channel. Thanks, man. It's good. I, I always appreciate some more people in my streams. I'm kind of, I'm kind of amazed that there's like six people in here on a weekday, to be honest. And, oh my, seriously? Are you serious? What if I did this? <laughs> no, <laughs> no chance. Wait, what? Oh, it just. Okay, it's it's sort of lifting. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> here you go, truck. You wanted this. Okay. I, it's now stuck. I, I can't move it. And I screwed up my truck. <laughs> okay. Alright. I guess it works low. <laughs> yeah. Will you transport all of those crates later on using a later build? Since this build is only for loading slash unloading crates. Yes, I do plan on building a kind of like small like work boat, I guess, that can carry a couple of crates. So I want to start um, 
doing some logistics stuff um, in Korea and that. So that's that's another reason why I'm building this so I can actually get something to put them on there. But I really don't know what else. I could make the boom smaller, give it another. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I'll give it another one of these. Just so the boom's a little bit more powerful. So, yeah, copy paste that. Perfect. Get another fluid connector on there. Make these all one. There we go. And get these wired up. Okay. <laughs> Make a blimp cargo plane. Maybe a blimp cargo carrier plane. I've never actually made a blimp in this game before. That would actually be really interesting to see. They don't really have like air blocks. Or, uh, what do they call them? Helium, helium blocks in some games, I think. But, uh, yeah, interesting. A cargo plane. A cargo plane would be really cool and efficient at transporting stuff. Alright. This, this uh, stream's just literally going to be me trying to get this right but <laughs> hopefully we can do this All right. that crates unfortunately over there so and what okay for some reason I've lost my control Oh, I deleted this. No. Didn't see that. That's kind of annoying. Get that oddly wired up. <laughs> Wheel and pivot glitch. Hmm. I don't really know how to do that exactly, but I think uh, I think I know. You probably have to walk me through it for the side. But there's just no room <laughs> inside here, <laughs> so I have this massive engine. I'm starting to like think: Do I need this bigger engine? I could literally pass for a tiny generator. So I could just add this with weight. That might be something I have to do. Right, this is going to look bad, but... It is what it is. Alright. All right, now I have boom control. There we go. I'm gonna run out of crates because I'm just gonna roll them over. <laughs> I have to relocate. All right, like fifth try or something. 
I haven't turned this one on. There we go. There we go. And lift it. Come on. Lift. <laughs> Alright, it's powerful enough to lift it now. But yeah. Hmm. I'm going to have to make this wheelbase super long. Let's get some more of them in. Alright. Just thinking about what I can do. What if I did it like so? We'll move this forward. This may not be the most lifelike accurate thing in the world but if it works and storm works then I'm happy with that and what I'm going to do this might end up looking pretty cool I'll get a, another but tank wheel and put it there Maybe a weight that can move back. Hmm. Ah, I see, yeah. That might work. I can kind of have it at the back and then, yeah. Okay, I'll give that a go. If this doesn't work, which is probably not. But look at that, that looks mean. <laughs> That's so dumb. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Ah, so if I just make it... Okay. This is going to be pretty funny, but... Alright, here we go. I need to turn this crate on. Forgot about that again. And connect. Come on. There we go. Alright. And way Oh the the Mad Max style awesome tank thing actually worked. <laughs> I did not expect that to. But there we go. Oh yes. I'm happy with that. Okay, now, um, bottom connectors. It's going to slowly rotate. It's got four small motors lifting all this weight. Okay. Now, if you see that trailer over there, you probably know what I'm thinking. But 
Now the trailer might not even be the right length. <laughs> I don't know when the last time I did this was. Oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> Is it the right length? That. That. No, the trailer's too long. Okay. I'm going to fix this before it breaks. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Stormworks physics are amazing. I don't know, even know what you mean when you say wacky Stormworks physics. <laughs> they are the best. Okay, I'm just going to dump this here. Um, so dump. There we go. Wouldn't want to be crushed by that. Okay, now. <sighs> I'm going to. That's the wheelbase we need. And so. This might screw it up. I really hope not, but I'm going to shift the entire top forward. Is that the entire top? Okay. Entire top goes forward a bit so it lines up more. And now I'm going to do some work on the base here. So that's all good. I'm going to extend this. That's a bit too far for my liking. And alright, I'm going to put these further back as well. Because they are now the new location. And why don't you wait? We need all the weight we can get. All right. Now, if I do that, let's do that. Kind of want to make a little thingy. Yeah, Ak, who you hate are of the best game existence. Our King Deltas have no flaws. <laughs> Yep. To be honest, Stormworks devs are great. I like them. They basically do what the community wants most of the time. At least in terms of what they add to the game. They do votes, they do uh, polls and all this stuff. And it's really cool. They take suggestions. And yeah. It's a great game, I like it. Obviously. <laughs> All right. So the temp number seven or something. And they're not connected again. I'm going to lose my mind doing this. But it's all trial and error, so what you have to do. There we go. And lift. Ah, oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not sure that's supposed to be happening. 
but uh, okay, it's really really tipping now. I'm not on the controls. This is Stormworks physics. I'm literally touching nothing. That kind of fixed it. It's still really wanting to lean. I think it's these. Okay, I might not have changed this. Oh no, I did. I really don't know what's up with that. It's probably all the weight off, off balance. Hmm. I kind of want it in the center still though. Uh, I'm back, hello Zendra. How you doing? I got it to lift, if you didn't catch that. I think they forgot about experimental after modular engines release. Yeah, maybe. Maybe a big track would work better than the pistons. Oh. <laughs> Imagine using the same name for a YouTube channel and Discord. Yes. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. All right. Maybe a big track would work better than the pistons. I don't exactly know what you mean by that. A big track as in like a linear track. Like these ones. Or I don't know. Yeah. Okay, so what I have Oh, the free wide ones So you're saying have Yeah, that's what I'm saying, I wouldn't have the it would go outwards unless are you saying pivot it as well I don't really know. You know what might work? A winch. A winch back here. Is that too big? It's probably too big. Go with one of these. Don't know how to explain it without showing. Yeah, I don't really get it. But I'm sure cables get very bouncy, yeah. I'm gonna try it though. So what we want, anchor. Get one there. Rope, there we go. Okay, so we want a threshold. This is going to be a test, so I'm just putting these up here. So this goes upwards is negative, so.
and then whoops so that's going to be up nope down up and we'll give this speed a lot So let's drive cables now. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's getting tension and everything, so we'll try it with the crate. But I can see, uh, I've used cables before. I just need a lot of torque moving upwards. Alright, that's on. Turns really slow now because it's so wide and heavy. Whoops. There we go. And lift. Okay, that's still going on. <laughs> yeah, and it's still turning. What I'll do is, for now, I'll save this um, as new. Um, piston. And I'll delete these. And this and hopefully they might just be strong enough to lift it if without the pistons they can't lift it then i'll have to do something but it's because the arm is like off center so i might have to make it um not off center <laughs> This is very, uh, I still feel that crates need to be lighter, like, surely they're not this heavy. Mike, aka Mikey, I have an idea to help by all means. Alright, we got it, I'm going to lift. Okay, without the pistons it can lift. Now the tracks are sinking in. <laughs> okay, yeah, so without the pistons it can still lift it. So I don't even know why I bothered with the pistons. Use rocket boosters. <laughs> Yes, that will definitely solve all the problems. Probably create loads as well. <laughs> but I like that idea. Okay, so we need a bigger ground mass on the rear 
And what I'm going to do is take the boom where it goes like that. And go like that. And delete this. This. And make it not off center anymore. So then that way, it'll probably still lean on this wheel. But, uh, yeah. Change the contactors for hinges at the bottom, the pistons. Oh, yeah. I see how that would have worked. But I'm probably going to ditch pistons now. <laughs> They're really not working out. And these have no electric anymore. Battery. Alright. I think I'll give it one more try. And then, uh, might be time to end, but let's do that. Set it on fire, cash the insurance money and start another business. <laughs> At this point, that seems like a reasonable option. Okay. And I also now have control of this, which is cool. I'm thinking like as soon as I turn with the the upper section, it's just gonna like flip again. Which I'm hoping that doesn't happen. Alright, attempt number like nine or ten. Get it down, on, and lift. We've got lift. This is the track wheels. This is probably a Stormwax thing. They just sink into the ground. You see that? So if I rotate here, you can center the balance if you rotate it. But it's controllable now. I might replace that wheel at the front. But okay, yeah. It's it's moving. Let's get this rotate oops. Okay, let's see what happens. I'm gonna rotate. <laughs> yeah. It's, yep, it's gone. <laughs> oh my. Oh yes. Two wheel in it. Oh no. That's another crate gone. <laughs> oh wait, no. Hold on, if I do something really big brain. No. <laughs> This is so cool. Maybe we should use suspension wheels, but have the suspension set to zero strength. The suspension wheels don't sink 
into the ground if suspension is bottomed out, I think. Drift it. I can't drift. This happened. I was reading comments and this how come this happens. <laughs> what? Okay. This is just ridiculous now. <laughs> Perfectly balanced, yes. All right. Well, I think, yeah, I'm going to run out of time soon. And I've uh, quite frankly had enough of this for one night. So I might end the stream soon. Um, <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what to do. I'm going to save this as Cargo Lifter Non Piston. Whoops. Non Piston, that way I can come back to say old saves. Where did old things? So it's go it's gone from this, you know, reasonable size. I thought I thought this is this is good. It fit in the train section. It was to scale. It didn't have dots everywhere. To <laughs> this, which I'll give you. It's not it's not that much different. But uh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I might need to do some do some thinking with this. Counterweight is the way to love on, yes. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Someone did use, use uh, wheels. I'll give that a try real quick. So what do we want? 7x7 seven seven wheels? That's pretty industrial. 9 by 9 is too big. Whoops. Put those there. Let's try it with wheels. Because where there's a wheel, there's a way. Skid steer all day, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's actually faster though. with wheels rather than tracks. Oh, yes, I'm drifting. Suck on that. Where's Endo Skull? He needs to see this. Or oh, not Endo Skull, Ack. I'm so sorry. get mixed up all the time. Just because your profile picture is like the same freaking colour, sort of. At least in my mind. <laughs> I'm looking, yes, did you see it drift? Okay, I'm going to pull a fat drift for you right now. Oh yes. Okay, here comes the Scandinavian flick. Oh yes, it's <laughs> that was a drift. I have no room, but that was a drift. Oh yeah, give it talk. Drift into the container. <laughs> That's how we do it. I might stick with wheels. Oh, whoops. Wheels are fun. <laughs> Go around. Fast and Furious 20. <laughs> what do you mean, drift? Okay. Oh, whoops. Okay, it's on. 
No, 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 don't flip. Okay, it's lifted. Yeah, the wheel, the wheel tire pressure. <laughs> Okay, I want to get it centered. But that's, that's better than the tracks, in my opinion. I think it looks better as well. And it's, it's freewheeling. <laughs> oh no. This is fun. It's fine, yes. I wonder... Okay, this is... This is the second part. Tire pressure... Tire pressure's all the way up. No. Because... It goes down to the rim. Because the tire just gets squished with all the weight. Ah, oh, these aren't even like... Suspension wheels. That's a Stormux thing. Look at that suspension. <laughs> it's not it's not intended suspension, trust me. Thank you for reviewing my creation. Oh it's Octane, hello. Hello Octane, how you doing? I can't hear you. Um You should be able to. Can everyone hear me okay? Or is it on uh, Octane's end? But yes. Okay, I'm going to save that because that's just better. I like drifting. You know what? Just for fun. Just for fun here. Who needs arms when you can just drift? Who needs to lift cargo when you can just drift? Drift for sponsors. You know it'd be really funny if I put um if I put a I put a rocket fuel booster here. That would be pretty funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh yes. You've never seen anything like it. Some on the back as well. This is why I have this is why I have so many hours in Stormworks yet no no stuff on the workshop that's like finished. <laughs> so I just give up and start doing this. <laughs> okay, we'll do hockey Z. There's no way you'll end this build successfully. I will end this build. I just, I'm just having fun. <laughs> Can't a man have fun? Okay, okay, Ak, are you watching? I'm gonna pull the nastiest drift you've ever seen. Okay. Cue the Euro beat. Oh yes, oh yes. You've never seen donuts like these, baby. That's as ma that's as drifty as you're gonna get. I love it. And it can be angled and stuff. Alright guys, I'm officially out of time now. 
So I think I'm going to end the stream there. <laughs> uh, thanks for coming along. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun doing this. And next next time, I'll leave a save save some time actually try and sort out all the bugs and stuff off camera or i'll do it on stream it's up to you and i will get this finished and working because i need to um and yeah so when i uh do the next stream i'll do a post again so you guys can have a little uh preparation time before so look out for that um subscribe and if you haven't and all of that. Have a good one. See you around. Yes, yeah, see you. Ak. Thanks for joining and uh, sharing my stream. That was a real cool view. I appreciate that. And yeah. <laughs>